Every officer in our Navy should know by heart the deeds of John Paul Jones. Every officer in our Navy should feel in each fiber of his being an eager desire to emulate the energy, the professional capacity, the indomitable determination and dauntless scorn of death which marked John Paul Jones above all his fellows. With these words spoken by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1906, the remains of John Paul Jones were laid to rest in a marble casket beneath the U.S. Naval Academy Chapel in Annapolis, Maryland. Since that time, various monuments have been raised to this quintessential American hero, including one in Philadelphia, and even a life-size statue in Whitehaven, England, that depicts him spiking the guns of the town's battery. But there is one monument to this great man that is relatively little known, even to the residents of Washington, D.C., where it stands. Here it is, on a small traffic island just north of the Tidal Basin and in between the World War II Memorial and the Washington Monument. The text on the monument's base reads, First to compel foreign man of war to strike colors to the stars and stripes, this no doubt refers to the famous Battle of Flamborough Head, during which John Paul Jones is supposed to have uttered his famous phrase, I have not yet begun to fight. Jones, on Bonhomme Richard, compelled the surrender of Captain Richard Pearson on the 44-gun frigate Serapis. But this was not actually the first time a foreign warship had surrendered to an American vessel. This distinction also belongs to John Paul Jones, and a year earlier, in 1778, Jones on board the 18-gun ship Sloop Ranger fought a hotly contested action with the 20-gun HMS Drake. Drake's captain, George Burden, was killed during the battle, along with his first lieutenant. Command therefore passed to Drake's sailing master, who surrendered to Jones. He did so without striking Drake's colors, however, as they had already been shot away during the fighting. If you come to Washington, D.C., perhaps go for a sail on Providence, John Paul Jones's first American naval command. Why not make a quick detour and pay your respects to one of our country's greatest naval heroes? Thank you so much for joining me on another Tall Ship Tuesday, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!